So how old is everybody? Three. I'm five, three. You're three. I'm over three. You're over three? I'm over three. She's also three. I'm also three. You're also three. Everyone's three. Is it three? I'm four. I'm four. I'm four. You're four? You're four. How did you sneak in here? Three and four. I'm five. I'm five. You're four. You're five. I'm five. All right. So do you... You're 13. 28. There you go. I'm... We're going to be checking ID. So do you like Mansa? Yay! Yay. Love awesome. Love it. Everybody likes it. So what is your favorite yeah. thing about Passover? What's your favorite thing about Passover? The man is asking you. What's your favorite thing? Do you like matzah? Do you like sitting at the Seder table? You like Marar? <laughs> There's always yeah. one. There's always one. You are going to have an interesting life. <laughs> that you are attracted to the more difficult things in life. Thank you, he's my son. <laughs> well, this is, this, this is a young man who doesn't shy away from a challenge. There you thank go. you, thank you. Maybe he'll go for president one day, right? Well, that's a lot of holes. <laughs> that is a lot of holes. <laughs> it's a So Passover is all about the children. The children ask questions, and we as parents are responsible to respond. They ask questions about morals. About, I mean, I don't know if they really get to the real deep stuff, but in their own childlike way, they ask questions. And it's important for us to give them the values, to give them the morals, to teach them the message of freedom and peace. So this is such a big thing for us that you're here today. I, I, I have been privileged to be, be at many a Seder table. Wow. And, uh, a little over a year ago, I joined some good good friends of mine in Houston at their Seder table, and and the patriarch of the family, uh, David Mitzner, he was at the time 99, and and he went through. Uh, he actually survived the Holocaust by being in, in a gulag in Russia, and he spent nine years in the gulag, and then said, "Praise God, I was in the gulag because otherwise I would have been killed." And and I had privilege of sitting next to David, and I said, 99, that's, that's really something. And, and David's response, he said, 99, nothing. Uh, <laughs> next year, that will be something. <laughs> and then next year, I had the great, great joy of going to his 100th birthday. He's a remarkable man. Wow. They walk through over here, the fish are hanging, they walk through the pretend split sea, and they Wonderful. pretend they're weaving Egypt through the split sea. That's fabulous. I'm good. We all pick up our hand, and we say we're free, and we leave through the split sea with our matzahs on our back, just like they did back then. That's oh, wonderful, and you've got fish, like, flying in the air. <laughs> oh, look, Nemo, Nemo. <laughs> sure, absolutely. You have a special, it's not really a matzah oven, it's a pizza oven, which is transformed to a matzah. We make miracles today right, as well. There, there we go, it gets, it gets the job done. So we need you to, if possible, if you, if you would like to take your matzah, you know. Sure. You can hang it over the roller. Hang it. There it goes, just like that. <laughs> All right. All right. Special matzah, by the way, is my brother. Excellent. Good to meet you, sir. How are you doing? Very good to meet you. How many rabbis have you met that have the last name winner? Like W-Y-N-N-Y. We're the winner family. That's how we roll. Well, I hope that your name proves a blessing in the election. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And in fact, if the headline the day after election day simply said my name and your name back to back, <laughs> I would be happy with it. Yeah, it off. Senator, if you, pick, if you win the election, it's easy if you just pick them up, so it'd be good chance. Well, very good. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest eating a lot of it, though. It's still good. Right. I call Mass the bread of affliction. It's called back in the morning. It's $20. Yeah. 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 Welcome to Brighton. Nick, I travel to Jersey, South Jersey, Jersey, special Well, thank you for making the trip. Thank you for joining us. 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 Thank you for joining us.
Whatever you do, don't Almost, burn it. Uh, <laughs> so now the pizza oven, is this here all the time, or you all brought it we, in? We here? brought it here special for, uh, for, the, for the Passover. So usually the matzo is a little bit bigger. This is a, it's smaller a model people, matzo. Smaller matzo. Yeah. Yeah. It's a model for the kids so that they can experience it, it's it's get their hands wet. It, 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 it is a wonderful thing. That's what we need today. We need the kids to feel everything. I, I've had a lot of matzo, but it always came in the box. <laughs> it, it, it was not, not By actually. By the way, they say that Chabad gives over a million matzos a year. Just Chabad. There's millions of more matzos which are given out throughout the year. Unbelievable. We love matzo. Yeah. You, see, you would appreciate, son, there's a lot of charity in the community, in the yeah. Clapper. Brooklyn community, over thousands and thousands of families who can't afford to make the holiday, which is expensive, are donated by people who are able to do it, and distributed all kinds of all Passover foods and throughout in this community and throughout the city and throughout the country. It's, it's, it's a time of giving as well, a time of giving and caring for, their, for neighbors and friends. That's what it's all about. That, that, that is right? a, a wonderful thing and, and, and a spirit. Uh, that would be good for all of us to have throughout the year. Well, right, right. Being charitable is what God wants from us, right? To give, and, uh, and not to be selfish, we do all of it. We say on Passover this year in exile, right? First Passover they were in exile, but next, next year... Next year in Jerusalem. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Said the right way. There you go. This point we say this year in Jerusalem. This year's Passover should be in Jerusalem. <laughs> This is true. Who wants to go to their in-laws? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're almost done. Well, next year in Jerusalem, hopefully I'll need a bigger plane to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Senator, at the APAC speech, you shared a little anecdote from the Talmud about Purim. Do you have anything about Passover that you'd like to share with us right now? You know, I will confess I don't have a Talmud uh, story to share, although I suspect I'm in good company that, that I could probably have have a, have a dozen who could point out. But it's certainly, look, you know, being raised a Christian, the Passover story is an incredible story of God sparing the Jewish people uh, from, from the rage and, and the taking of the firstborn sons. And, and the horror that was the final plague was also what freed the people of Israel from captivity. And, and that, that is certainly something that, that Obviously, those of the Jewish faith celebrate, but, but Christians celebrate as well. Is, is there anyone in particular that you consult with when it comes to your Bible-themed Jewish kind of... Uh... Do you have, like, an undercover rabbi? Oh, well, I, I'll tell you, I actually do. You know, Nick, 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 Nick. Oh, Nick is here. All right, so, 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 so Nick is, is my deputy chief of staff, but he also wow. spends uh, a great many hours in, in Talmudic study as well, yes. although that's dangerous to say in a, in a, in a gathering of rabbis, but... But, My brother it's good. Nick, uh, is, but, Nick is excellent. Thank you. He's uh, very good. We appreciate everything he does. So, so Nick, You're I lucky got to called have out him. if I had any wisdom from the town with the share for Passover, and I said, well, where's Nick? No, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm fresh out of wisdom. Well, I think tomorrow is Rosh Chodesh Nissen. It's the beginning of the month of Nissen. It's the month of freedom and the month of redemption. And in America, too, we're seeing the beginnings of a redemption. And Ted is going to lead the way to a, a brighter future with freedom, religious freedom, freedom for Israel. We're going to, uh, you know, and uh, many great things. It's very appropriate that he's here baking matzah on, on this important day. Excellent. It's beautiful. Very good. Would well you said. Like, would you like okay. to uh, check out your matzah? Sure. Would you like to put it in a hat? It's a small bag. It's a fresh one. <laughs> so hot. You can take it to go. Fabulous. You, you can put peanut butter and jelly on it. Your own homemade matzah. <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. That's <laughs> superb. <laughs> All right, let me officially say the fresh bake is better than the box. Than the box, right? Yeah. <laughs> one more time, one more time. So it's always better fresh. Oh, yeah, we're just talking about the Can you make a picture of you? Yeah, right now. Right little bit. Good to see you. Watch out, guys. Oh, I'm a little short. <laughs> Give me the real thing. He's coming out this way, right? Yeah. Okay. I begin to talk about it. He did well, he did fine. Okay. Did you do it for the, right, West, Coast? Well. For the West Coast? For the West Coast. Where's the mask? Oh, the paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> 